guys and welcome back to my channel so hi hello there this is vicky if you have never seen my videos before i just wanted to give a quick introduction i do all things bath and body works and cozy uh christmas content for vlogmas so this is going to be a really cozy nighttime routine i'm going to show you guys through my shower routine and then kind of getting ready for bed and this is also i do this about once a month um when i'm going to be doing my kind of like grooming routine basically i need to pluck my eyebrows and i do usually take a razor and go around my upper lip and stuff so i'm just going to show you how i do that today as well um i'm italian so i'm a hairy girl so i usually have to do that about once a month and that pretty much gets rid of everything but these are all the products i will be using tonight i'm going to set the mood with a cozy christmas movie home alone 2 where are my people who think that home alone 2 is better than home alone 1 because that is definitely me i fall into that category i think it's a lot more cozy i just love the vibes of new york at christmas time so maybe that's probably why i like it more but so we're going to start off with putting our hair up i'm not going to wash my hair today so i'm just putting it in a clip and then to avoid my like baby hairs in the front of my face getting wet um I just put on this little headband from Kitsch and then I put on my shower cap on top of that. So don't, don't judge my shower cap. I know I look crazy, but that is just to prevent my hair from getting wet. And I do have this eucalyptus hanging from my shower head because I think it just makes everything smell better. And I got that, I think, from Trader Joe's. Super easy. You just stick it over the shower head. But I'm going to go ahead and wash my face with my Mary Kay Clear Proof Cleanser. I wash my face at night with this one and then in the morning I use a pixie retinol cleanser that's a lot more gentle on my skin um, but this one I really like to get rid of kind of the oils that built up throughout the day and then we're using winterberry wonder as our scent tonight just because I feel like that like warm cranberry um, fruity scent is really nice this time of year and in Texas right now where I live it is not cold um, it's actually going to be cold for Christmas this week, but as I was recording this video, it was still like 80 degrees outside. So I was not feeling like super gourmand heavy. I was definitely feeling more fruitiness. So, but yeah, I do lather this up on just your standard loofah. Let me know if I should get like an African net sponge. I know those are like super popular right now. What are you guys using as your, as your kind of scrubber? I'm using this Scentsy Soak in Appleberry. Um, sorry, not soak. It's a scrub in Appleberry and I've actually never used their scrubs before but this texture is so luxurious. It was very coarse so it was perfect because I usually do a coarse scrub like this like once or twice a week um, just when I know either I have a lot of dead skin that I need to get rid of or when I know I need to shave and I haven't shaved in a while and then you just want to be careful on your upper body with these coarse scrubs because they are abrasive and they could you know lead to cuts and stuff on this thinner skin up here you know especially like your chest area so just be super gentle with that but I'm going in with my Diana's shave Mut shave butter it is made from goat's milk it's really cool stuff this stuff lathers really well and I think gives me a better shave. I actually ran out of it while filming this video. This was like the last bit of it that I had in that bottle. So I'm going to have to get another one. This one was actually sent to me to make some um, user generated content for them for TikTok. Um, but I did actually really enjoy it. But I'm also using my Flamingo razor here. I think it's a five blade razor. I adore it. I just replaced the head um, for the shower routine. And then we're gonna wipe off with our nice towel and hop on over to do some skincare. So the first thing I like to go in with is my Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow PHA BHA Toner. I adore this stuff. I've repurchased it like five times. And before my skin kind of gets a chance to dry off from the shower, I do go in with my moisturizer. So tonight I'm using that Winterberry Wonder Body Butter. This stuff is so thick and creamy and perfect for when the weather is cooling down, it's getting cold and you get like flaky dry skin. So I absolutely adore the Bath & Body Works body butter formula. I think it is so hydrating. And then I'm going in with my Bikini Zone Lidocaine Cream on those places that I just shaped. So on, you know, the private areas, especially my underarms. If you get razor burn, this stuff is really, really good. It's probably the best thing I've found for treating razor burn very quickly and it stops the pain immediately i love it and then we're changing into our cozy victoria's secret pjs 
getting really comfy and I am going to go ahead and start plucking my eyebrows. So it had actually been a few months. I let this go a little too long. So I had to pluck in between, above and below. I know there's like, I don't know, a lot of theories on how to pluck your eyebrows, but I just do what works for me. I've never gotten my eyebrows threaded. I got my eyebrows waxed once and I don't want to do it again. <laughs> I think I do a great job for myself. And then to shave my face, I like to use this rose hip oil. It's honestly just from Ross, you guys. It's not anything special. Um, and then I use a little mini face razor. So I'll put the oil on my upper lip and then right here below my chin. And I go in with the razor in really small, tiny strokes. And um, I do it on the upper lip as well. And you know, whatever gets on the razor, I just kind of wipe off on a tissue. But I just hold my lip taut and I go down and start shaving. And then wipe off that oil and I feel like that is really what makes my skin still stay soft after having shaved it and then I'm gonna go in with my Glossier super bounce uh, vitamin b5 serum this stuff is really nice and hydrating for my skin this was really just a hydrating kind of skin nighttime routine um, every now and then I will use retinol and I'll use you know a peel but tonight I just wanted to do a restorative face routine and then I'm going in with my Liliana Naturals eye cream and this Ulta Beauty watermelon sleeping mask. This stuff is really good. It leaves my skin feeling super moisturized in the morning and of course you can't finish a night routine without the Laneige lip sleeping mask. This stuff is really elite. If you haven't, if you still have time to buy a Christmas present, I definitely recommend buying that for like your girlfriend or your sister or something like that. They will absolutely adore it. And then before I head to bed, I just brush my hair out and I get rid of all the decorative pillows on our bed. Do you guys like my decorations? I have Christmas trees on our bedside tables and I have a garland above the bed. I like freaking love it. It's so cute. And Ryan put up those light strips behind our headboard so it's really nice and cozy at night. And this is pretty much the end of the routine. So thank you guys so, so much for watching and I hope you have a wonderful night.